In this video, we are talking about the fun facts that you may not know about Downingtown, Pennsylvania in Chester County, and it all starts right now. Hello, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Matt Moore with The Moore Group. We are a real estate team based right here in the Chester County and Philadelphia area, including in the Downingtown area as well. And in this video, we're breaking down some of the fun facts about Downingtown, things that you may not have known about the area, and some cool things about this place that we call home. And I've got six things that may or may not blow your mind, but at the very least, it'll give you more information about this fantastic place. And I'll jump into those six things here in just a second, but first I just wanna say this, we are a real estate team. We're helping people all the time who are moving to or relocating within the Chester County and Philadelphia area, including Downingtown. And if that's you, if you're looking for some information, trying to learn more about this place in Downingtown or Chester County in Philadelphia, we'd love to help you. We'd love to have a conversation with you. And because we're helping people all the time, we absolutely love when people reach out to us to help them guide their real estate journey. So real quickly, before we jump into that list of six things, I just want to put our information up on the screen you can call, text, email, reach out to us. We will get in touch with you. We've got Chester County and Philadelphia specialists on the Moore Group who are standing by and ready to help you achieve your real estate goals, whatever those might be. All right, enough of that. We'll put more contact info at the end of this video so you can just kind of scroll if you want to see that information again. But you're here for the six facts about Downingtown that you may not know about. So let's get started with the very first. Okay, movie buffs, the very first thing on the things you may not have known about the Downingtown area is we're gonna pull the time back a little bit. Going back to the classics and a classic horror film that was produced in the 1950s, The Blob. Yes, that movie, which was a shapeless, murderous blob of goo that was attacking an entire town. And guess what? That movie was filmed in and around the Downingtown area. There was a diner in the movie that was featured many times and that original diner was sold and then moved off, but it was replaced in the same spot by a very similar 1950s style diner. And even to this day, that diner boasts its home of the blob and you can go check things out in the downtown Downingtown area and see a little bit more of those awesome places uh, that were featured in the movie itself. All right, moving on to the next set of facts here about the Downingtown area, things you may not have known about, and this has more of a Hollywood celebrity touch to it. There's a few celebrities that are household names that are coming right from Downingtown. One, in fact, is an NFL quarterback, Matt Ryan, hails from Downingtown originally. Uh, Matt Ryan most recently played for the Indianapolis Colts. Previous to that was a long-term quarterback in the NFL for the Atlanta Falcons, and a great quarterback for sure. One other household name that you might recognize is from a recent blockbuster, Top Gun Maverick. Miles Teller is originally from the Downingtown area. In fact, he's a Philly guy at heart. And you'll see him a lot of the 76ers and Phillies games. In fact, going back to the previous World Series the Phillies played in, Miles Teller showed up a lot in the stands and on camera, of course, being a big time Hollywood actor, being from the Downingtown area. And yeah, he's used to the Philly area. He grew up as a Philly uh, sports fan. Now, Miles is also in movies like Footloose, produced back in 2011. Not the original, but the more recent update. And of course, Fantastic Four, produced in 2015. Ton of blockbusters Miles Teller has been, and his roots right here in Downingtown. All right, this next fact is for you history buffs, and it has to do with President Lincoln, and more specifically, after his assassination back all those few hundred years ago. The President Lincoln funeral train did make a stop in Downingtown as it's made its way from the Harrisburg area all the way to Philadelphia, where it did have a layover, but it did briefly stop in Downingtown. And that's just one of several facts about Downingtown. Because it is so close to Philadelphia and because it is such an old town, you are surrounded in rich history, little facts and tidbits just like that President Lincoln funeral train surround the area in general, and it makes it a great place if you love world history. Hey, sorry to interrupt this video, but if you are enjoying the content on here, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. We are making video content all the time with regards to Chester County, and we will continue doing so as we move forward in time. So more information for you to digest 
How you get it? Click the subscribe button and hit that little alarm bell next to it so you get alerted anytime a new video drops. Next up on the fun facts list has to do with something that you've probably seen in a shopping mall before. It's a stand and it's a snack that a lot of people are very, very used to. Remember that name, Auntie Anne's Pretzels? You see them all over the United States, all over the world in many cases. And those nice pretzel snacks you can get while you're shopping around in your mall, they were started right in the Downingtown area. In fact, Auntie Anne's was founded and started in a small stall at the Downingtown Farmer's Market. And now that chain has over a thousand different places that you can get a pretzel from with annual revenue topping $375 million dollars globally. So Auntie Anne's now pretty far cry from where it first started with roots right in Downingtown. Now the next fact you may not have known about the Downingtown area, and this one's for you beer lovers, is the fact that Victory Brewing Company headquartered and started right in the Downingtown area. Now this is more of a broader statement of South Central and Southeastern PA. There are a ridiculous amount of breweries and microbreweries that you can find all over, but Victory has grown so it's more of a globally distributed type of a beer. Now they started in Downingtown, they offer a ton of different varieties of beers, and their sour beer is one of my favorite personally, so you gotta check that out if you're into that, and Victory has a great one. Now Victory since then, of course, they've maintained the original spot there in Downingtown, but now they've got some satellite locations and some big distribution centers, one in Parksburg that has opened up in the last decade or so. And both the location in Downingtown and also the location in Parksburg do offer a little bit of a restaurant too. So you can go in, have a great bite to eat, get some great brews. And in fact, you can actually order directly, buy the beer directly from those places. You can find a lot of great stuff that have, you have a hard time finding in the stores, but they've got a lot of it at these places in Downingtown. Now, the last fact might be something that, if, especially if you're researching the Downingtown area, you might be already aware of, but for those that don't, Downingtown has some of the best schools, not only in the state of Pennsylvania, but also some of the best schools in the country. So in Pennsylvania, there are 495 school districts, according to niche.com, and Downingtown area school district, again, according to that same website, ranking in in the top 30, right at the number 30 spot. So one of the best school districts that you can find here in the entire state of Pennsylvania, and certainly in that top 10%. And then when you look at it on a national scale, it's coming in, ranking in at about 361 out of over 10,000 school districts in the United States. And that places it in about the top 3% of school districts nationally. Now from niche.com, Downingtown Area School District received an A plus grade. And you can't talk about the Downingtown Area School District without mentioning the Downingtown STEM Academy, which is a public high school that is very highly ranked both in the state of Pennsylvania and also nationally. In fact, it comes in in the number two best public high schools in all of the state of Pennsylvania. And when looking at it nationally, ranks in the top 50 in the United States for best high schools out there. And again, this data coming in from both niche.com and also US World News and Report with these rankings. So Downingtown coming in with a very fantastic public school system, a place where if you have a family, is a great place to be. But here's another point, and if you don't have a family or you don't have kids, and that doesn't really matter for you where you go in a school district, think about it this way. If you're thinking about buying a home, eventually you may wanna sell that home. It's advantageous to try to be in a great school district from the standpoint of resale value. At some point in time, you may decide to sell that house and a great school district, which again, Downingtown Area School District has perennially been ranked in the top charts. So that's going to lead to home values remaining or accelerating better than the median would in the state of Pennsylvania. And so this list is just a few of the fun facts that we've been able to dig up about the Downingtown area. If you have any you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. We'd love to read them, we'd love to respond to them, and we really appreciate you watching this video. Again, my name is Matt Moore with The Moore Group. We are a real estate team based right here in Chester County and also through the Philadelphia area. We are helping people all the time, moving to, relocating within this area. We absolutely love it, and if that's you, we'd love to get in contact with you. Here is our contact information to get the conversation started. Call, text, email, 
doesn't matter. We will get in contact. And of course, if you'd like to do a little bit more research on who we are, that's totally fine. I encourage you to visit our website, themoregroupchester.com. Learn more about our real estate team, who we are as people, who we are and how we can help you achieve your real estate goals. And if that's not enough, I invite you just to Google The More Group real estate on Google and you will find over 55 star reviews and counting. We love to serve our clients and we serve their needs to the fullest extent, acting as a fiduciary for you and watching out for your best interest. It's our job and our duty to help you through this journey and make sure you come out on top. So that's what we would love to do for you if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in the Chester County or the Philadelphia area. Thank you so much for watching this video about the fun facts, things you may not have known about Downingtown. Please like this video, give the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It helps the algorithm out, it helps YouTube reach more people that are looking for this same information. And don't forget to say hi in the comments section as well. Our channel also has more content about Chester County and Philadelphia. So check out the rest of the content that we have on this channel, we've got more coming. So again, don't forget to subscribe to the More Group channel right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of your day. If you have any questions, reach out, we're here for you.